In this video, I'm going to show you how to wrap this water bottle with vinyl wrap and then add a decal to it. So I have the water bottle. I have a pre-cut piece of vinyl wrap. In this case, it's tech wrap. It's their gloss gray rainbow sparkle. Um, a utility knife. I'm using knifeless tape. You'll see the use for that later. A squeegee with a felt edge and a heat gun. So I have the water bottle already cleaned and prepped. Again, the vinyl wrap that I'm using is already pre-cut to size. I made sure that both the top and bottom edges are very straight so that I can just align the bottom edge with the, um, with the bottom there without having the trim. If it's not entirely straight, that's fine. Give yourself a little bit of overlap um, on there. But what I'm gonna try to do here, you see me struggling a little bit, is to try to get that bottom edge aligned perfectly or as perfectly as I can uh, with the bottom um, cap of the bottle there. I start off with a one end, but then I'm going to switch here in just a second and try to start off kind of in the center, um, if you will. And then that way I can see left and right if um, my sides are going to go straight. If you're off just a little bit, that's fine because what you can do is you wrap the vinyl around the bottle itself. You can kind of steer the vinyl uh, up or down a little bit as you continue to wrap the bottom there and then work your way up. Um, to make sure that the bottom edge is flush, the bottom edge of the vinyl is flush with the bottom edge of the water bottle. You can see I'm kind of giving it just a little bit of tension and I'm pulling it downward towards the bottom cap there so that it will align with the bottom. In just a second here, I'm going to pull off the clear plastic protective wrap on the vinyl. Not all wraps have that on there, um, but it's just a protective cap. It makes it, uh, it's just for protecting the vinyl while it is in storage, um, but you don't want to install necessarily with that protective cap on there because it does not stretch like the vinyl and can make it difficult for application. So what you're gonna see me do for the next few minutes here is basically just wrap the uh, bottom edge, wrap the vinyl around the bottle, and I'm starting with the bottom edge, making sure that is lined up first. Um, and then after I got a portion of that bottom edge lined up, um, by either pulling it straight across if I need to, um, or pulling it up and down slightly if I need to, you'll see that I'm using my finger to go ahead and uh, apply it towards the top side. Now what I'm doing there is I'm heating the vinyl a little bit to relax a little bit because I was pulling, giving it a little bit of tension and pulling it uh, to get it to steer down or up a little bit to make sure the bottom edge was aligned with the bottom of the um, water bottle. And so by giving it a little bit of heat, I'm relaxing the vinyl to get rid of any tension that has built up in there. Um, and then here I'm using my squeegee to help kind of uh, push out any wrinkles or uh, what you might see are these little fingers um, that are occurring. So again, just giving a little bit more heat because I did add some tension there. And all I'm doing with the heat is relaxing it to get any tension out. And now you can see that it has softened and relaxed. And now I can just use my finger to kind of to go ahead and just apply that there. I'm um, getting to a certain part where I'm going to go ahead and use my squeegee to help out um, with uh, pressing it down a little bit and then doing the same process again. Here I'm picking it back up just a little bit where I saw there was a little bit of tension towards the edge of the vinyl there, which I don't want. And again, that will be little fingers kind of pulling back and then giving it some heat there at the very edge to kind of let everything relax, relieve any tension that's in there so that it doesn't the vinyl does not pull back later on and then since it is relaxed and soft all i'm using is my finger to lay it down uh, gently uh, but pressing firmly so that the vinyl does apply or adhere well to the surface now that i've got that side applied what i'm going to do is um in this case i started to i uh started to apply the rest of the vinyl uh, on the uh, around the other side of the bottle um, in this one you can see i'm giving it a little bit of tension and i'm pulling downward to steer the vinyl a little bit towards the bottom, a little bit more towards the bottom, keep everything lined up. Uh, I was apparently off just a little bit um, where the bottom of the vinyl was going up slightly. Now I've gotten to the edge where I finished wrapping um, the other side uh, and I'm going to get this knifeless tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the knifeless tape on the very edge of where um, the other part of the vinyl that I had laid down. And what the knifeless tape does, it's basically a way to cut vinyl without actually using your knife and possibly scratching the surface of the of the product that you're using underneath in this case the surface of the bottle i'm going to line up the green edge of the knifeless tape on the edge of the vinyl that i had already laid down that way it gives it a nice straight line 
and the vinyl, um, the knifeless tape uh, is about two or to three millimeters wide, um, and there's a filament or string in the center of that. So what's going to happen is when I cut it, if I lay one edge of the green tape on the very edge of the vinyl I already laid down, and then I overlap and cut, what's going to do is create a little bit of an edge on the vinyl I'm going to lay over on top, about a one millimeter overlap uh, to ensure that everything is sealed up nice and tightly. Um, I'm not going to do a butt seam in this case because uh, no matter what brand of uh, vinyl that you use, they all eventually shrink. And so while a butt seam may look good early on and for a little while over time, as the vinyl does shrink, um, that butt seam will basically split open. Uh, and then you'll see the uh, surface of the bottle, in this case, underneath. So by creating that one millimeter overlap or extremely small overlap, um, that helps hold the vinyl together and uh, creates a, a, a nearly seamless look. Most vinyls hide seams very, very well, such as this vinyl here. So what you'll see is I'm going to basically give it a little yank here. And what that does is it releases the filament from the green tape. And then you can see I pull the filament through both layers of vinyl and it cut both layers of vinyl there. So I'm going to peel off the top um, the top layer of excess vinyl now. And then I'm going to peel away the green carrier tape from the knifeless tape. And there's going to be two pieces because, again, uh, the filament is in the center of the tape. So as it cuts it, uh, it splits the tape right down the center in two. So there goes one. And then there's going to be one more green filament uh, carrier tape underneath part of the other vinyl. Peel that away. And then after I finish that, I'm just going to seal it all down. So in this case, there will be a small seam that you can see with a little bit of overlap. Um, but in this case, this vinyl tends to hide any seams quite well. Um, and so it's unless you're really looking for it, it's going to be hard to see. Uh, also, a lot of uh, water bottles, stainless steel types, um, since it is a piece of sheet metal that's wrapped around and then put together, uh, sometimes they do have seams and some styles of bottles. So it kind of looks the same as that. So I've sealed it all down, pressing it to make sure it's all nice and tight and you can see there that you saw a little bit of the seam but you kind of have to get close to it now what I'm going to do is the next step is kind of um, I'm going to wrap over the lip of the um, of the bottle where it goes in uh, and forms a neck um, for the bottle cap to go in there but first I'm going to cut away some of the excess vinyl over the top of the um, over the top of the water bottle that I don't need because too much vinyl there will just basically get in the way. So I'm trimming off excess, but I'm going to leave enough vinyl that it can that the vinyl can uh, fold over or drop over the lip of the uh, water bottle. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a in just a minute here as I finish trimming this off. And what I'm going to do basically this process is heat the vinyl so that it softens and naturally just falls over over the edge there. Uh, and then gently and slowly work that vinyl over the edge of the lip with my squeegee. So here I'm heating the vinyl and what I'm doing there is softening and relaxing it and I'm going to heat all the way around. You can kind of see the vinyl as I'm rolling it and heating it. It's already dropping over that lip of the, uh, of the water bottle there. So just giving it some heat, not too much, just enough to soften it and where I see it's uh, becoming, um, more malleable and it will easily fold over. I'm going to take my squeegee and then basically um, just roll the vinyl over that lip there with the squeegee. I'm not going all the way to the base of the neck yet because I don't want to overstress the vinyl there. If you do um, push too hard too fast and overstress the vinyl, what will happen is you'll see these little micro, uh, we call them fingers or wrinkles, and they actually look like on a, uh, if you look at the old style um, coke bottle caps those little ridges it, it'll look like those little ridges so it's called bottle capping or fingering and so I go in just a little bit um, just to kind of make sure that I don't have any stress in there and then I'm gonna heat it up again to soften the vinyl and then also if there is any tension or some of those uh, bottle capping fingering that's occurring this will help relax that uh, relax the film so that those fingering bottle caps will go away once I've made sure that uh, I've, I've got it the way I like it, then I'll go ahead and then finish off um, basically laying the rest of the vinyl into the uh, neck 
of the uh, area of the water bottle that the um, cap um, will screw into. And so here I'm actually using the uh, hard edge or the uncovered edge of my squeegee um, so that it's, it's a little bit more firm and, and can press, thing, press out any wrinkles, press the vinyl down nice and firmly so that it sets really well into and against the, um, the neck of the bottle there. So all I'm doing is going all the way around, um, making sure that I've got any wrinkles out, that the vinyl is set, there's no bubbles that are trapped under that, um, and that it looks looks nice in preparation for trimming it out. Um, speaking of that, what I'm also doing there, you can see where I've basically got it, and then you can see the bottle capping above the um, going onto the neck of the of the um, screw top area there. So what I've done is set myself up to trim away all that excess, and I'm heating everything to make sure that one the vinyl is set properly, and two that any wrinkles that might have that might form will reveal themselves uh, and then I can work those out which is what I'm doing right there working out those wrinkles that I found and making sure that the vinyl is set properly um, as I was saying earlier or began to say earlier part of the reason why I'm using a hard edge as well is so that it creates a line that um, a definitive line that I can use to help me with the trimming so speaking of trimming that's the next step here Make sure your utility knife is super sharp, and then what I'm going to do is basically put the tip of my knife into that line, and I'm pressing the side of the blade against the um, the lip, if you will, of the bottle, uh, helping to make it as a guide so that the cut is nice and straight. Push just hard enough to just cut through or score the vinyl. Uh, if you push too hard, you're going to go into through the vinyl and onto the surface. In this case, it's a stainless steel water bottle, so to me, it, it really doesn't matter. But if it's something that's more delicate or you don't want scratched, you definitely don't want to push too hard. So now I just kind of lift the vinyl a little bit and then cut a cut a piece away or cut the uh, uh, a sliver off, so that now I can carefully and slowly peel away the vinyl um, from the top there. All right. So once I've done that, I'm going to give it, make sure everything is sealed down, give it a little bit more heat to make sure nothing is pulling back, any of those bottle cap type looking um, wrinkles form, and that the heat will help set the vinyl as well onto the, uh, onto the bottle. All right, so after that, I'm going to give the bottle just an overall heating to see if there's any bubbling, um, trapped air bubbles that I may have missed in wrapping the bottle if i do heat will it cause the air to expand and bubbles will show and you can press those out nice and easily all right so that's basically it what i'm going to do here is make sure everything is um cleaned up a little bit here wipe it down help press it that'll help seal it so that your bottle is nice and clean and looks um good for presentation so that in just a few minutes is how you wrap a stainless steel water bottle with vinyl wrap In this part, I'll show you how to apply a decal to your water bottle. So you can see I have a pre-cut decal and pre-cut uh, transfer tape. So simply apply your transfer tape to your decal. Make sure it's pressed on firmly. Then after that, peel your decal from the backing paper onto your transfer tape. What you'll want to do next is align the product that you want to place the decal onto. In this case, just the side of the water bottle and so I'm just going to eyeball it as far as centering it and making sure that it's level. Once you're happy where you the placement for it go ahead and uh, start to smooth the decal onto the surface of your product in this case the water bottle make sure that you press firmly all the way across the entire decal when you're satisfied that it's on firmly carefully peel back your transfer tape and there you go quick and simple application of a decal to your water bottle. If you thought this video was helpful and informative, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys.